Hello, everyone. Wow, it looks awfully dark. Can you guys see? It looks really dark. Um, I don't know if I have that light on. Um, very bright. I'm testing out my new computer. Um, let me see if I can turn this light on brighter. It's as bright as it goes. Maybe that'll make a difference. Is anybody there? Hello? Oh, lots of people. I don't. Hi, guys. Am I bright enough? It looks really dark in here. I'm seeing the chat on this computer, but I'm not seeing it over here for some reason. I wonder why. Top chat. Let's see. Live chat. Let's see. There it is. Yay. Is the video more clear than um, the normal? Let me know. I can see some over here. Hi, Jenny's Journey. Um, Cuddle, Cuddle Kathy, Teresa, Susan. I want to look at it up there and see if I can see it better. Deborah, I'm going to have to like tilt it a little bit more. Let's see who's here. Stacy, Flora. I, 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 my words didn't work right. Brandy, Rebecca, Kelsey, Kauko. Hi, Katie. Hi, Lizzie. And David and hubby. Always forget hubby's name. Hey, Jesse. Hi, Shauna and Joni. Not the cat, CM. Lisa Hunt. Hey, Angie. What's up? My daughter. Hi, Emily. The Daily D. Oh, my God. Your subscribers have jumped so much. I, I, I was looking at them the other day, and I was like, oh, my God. They really went up. I'm so happy for you. I really am. Hi, Robbie. Brand Brandy. Gary, Teresa, Ronald Daly from Louisiana. They're going a little bit fast. I'm probably seeing them slower over here. I don't know how to slow them down. Hi, Jamie, Kelly. 900 today. That's awesome, D. I'm so ha I'm really, really happy for you. And I hope that, you know, with the shout outs, with the description, I hope all that's really helped you a lot. I really do. Hi, Terry and Al. If you guys aren't subscribed to Terry and Al, it's, it's Terry and Al, Al's, um, what is it, Terry? Spirit Stalkers. Go subscribe to Terry. Terry's starting to make videos now, and Terry is so good to me. He, he, does, he, he, he helps me so much. Um... He just helps me a, a really lot. And so, but especially since I got put in the hospital and stuff, he's, he's just been a blessing. I just love Terry. He's awesome. Um, let's see who's who. Hi, Kevin Kirby. Um, one, one, now I want to talk to you guys about my doctor's appointment on Friday, but one announcement I want to make is, I may be changing post office, post post office boxes. I might try to get one closer to Angie. Um, because the one like the one that I have was close to my old house, but it's not that close to, to my new house. So um if I get one close to Angie, then she can like check it for us. Well, me and her have been talking about it. My it, it's coming up due here in April. And, um, she, um, I don't know what we're going to do. I, we, we're probably going to change post offices. Hello, Paul, the fam. Thank you so much for the donation. I do feel better. My speech is it's, it's, if I just say a couple of words, if I say, hi, how are you guys doing? I'm okay. But when I try to get them long sentences out of there, my mouth don't shut up. 
it doesn't the words don't come come out right which they didn't come out right before but they're really bad now and it drives me crazy when i when i stutter but hopefully that louis stop hopefully that go, goes away and um you know i don't know it's just i'm alive i'm happy to be alive and i've just decided that i'm alive and i'm gonna live i'm gonna live my life i'm gonna have fun you need to stop young man come on come come i don't know what you want buddy I, I guess I got to get him a chair. What do you want? I don't know what you want. Come on. Up here with mommy. Come. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. I don't know what he wants. Um, Go get daddy. Go get daddy. Where's daddy? So uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. But anyways, um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of changing post offices. But... Um, Shout out to all of you guys. Golly, thank you for being here. I don't even know. Where is it at? 123 people here. Yay. I got 43 likes, though, guys. Smash it. Smash that like button. Hi, Lisa Hazard. Raymond. Hi, Raymond. Louis probably does need to go out. But I'm not getting up and taking him out right now. I, I want to ask you guys, how's the picture? How's the, like, this is a new computer. How's the picture? I think it looks great on my screen. Um, I really like it a lot. So let's see what you guys say. See how, how the picture is. <clears throat> oh, wow. They're going to come through. It looks good. I missed a comment there from um, somebody. I can't. If I didn't respond to your com comment, just post it again. Looks really good. Okay, great. Um, I was hoping so because... Um, yeah, I got a new computer, and I'm really, I, I'm still learning how to use this one, but I, I really, really like it a lot. Okay, so great. Okay. Really, Robbie? Well, thank you. That's awesome. And the um, what's really cool is the, the you guys' chat on there, on this computer in front of me, is the background's black. And then on this computer here, the background is white. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to see the comments. So now I got them going in two different directions. Um, Tyler, Louie wants you. Buddy, I'm sorry. I don't know. Let me get him a chair. Do you want to sit by mommy? Louie's barking. Maybe he wants to sit by me. Right, pull that up. Come on. Oh, look, there was a crystal under my butt. It was a crystal. Louie, do you want to sit with mommy? Let me get him a chair in here. I don't know what he wants. He's probably going to want to play. Hide them squeaky toys. Or take him to bed with you. He might have to go to the bathroom. Um, okay, so, um, okay, let's talk about my doctor's appointment on Friday. This past Friday, I went I, I went to my neurologist. Um, and if I back up a little bit, when I, when I lived up north, I had issues. I have MS. And a lot of you guys probably didn't know that. Um, and I had brain scans of my... No, it didn't come out right. I have had MRIs of my brain. So um, when I moved here, I brought all that information with me from the doctor. Like I had it all printed out and I had this, the disc this, from my brain. Well, when I got a neurologist here, he's got all that information. So when, when I went to the hospital, and they did all them tests, and I was there. I think I was there for three days, maybe four days. I don't, I don't remember. I think it was three. Maybe it was three nights, and I don't remember. Anyways, um, they did like the CAT scan, and they did, they did the, um, let's see, the CAT scan. They did that thing where they stick all them things to your head, and. Um, 
I'm trying to think. Then they did an MRI after like a couple of days of being there or something like that. And um, <clears throat> so that's how they seen that I had a, a stroke. Um, the neurologist that I seen in the hospital, I didn't see him in person. He was like on a screen at the end of my bed. It was really, really weird. Haley was with me at that moment. And she's like, this is weird. Which it really was weird because he was he was talking to me on a screen at the end of my bed. So they started giving me this this book and they kept flipping the pages and saying, making me read read these these words on I'm looking down. Why am I looking down? Let me see here. Um they were making me read these words off out of this book. And even like Haley said, Haley said she, she, she's stuttering and her words aren't coming out right. But they made me read these words and these were one words. And it would be like, I don't remember what they were, but I did okay on them. But when it came to mama, I just started bawling because I'd already seen my mama's in the, in the hospital room with me. And my mama died of a stroke. I thought, I'm going to die. She's here to take me. So, um, anyways, getting back to my neurologist, because I think I talked about all this in my other video. Um, I went to my neurologist on Friday, and um, he compared the MRI from the hospital to my MRI from Maryland, and he said that I that from like I had like the white spots on your brain or something. He said that I've had two strokes within, well, he, he just said, he said, you've had two strokes. And I'm like, two strokes. And I'm like, I, well, I'm thinking, well, maybe back in 2008, I, I couldn't remember. Like I had, I've had a lot of issues with the MS and I, I so I was thinking, well, but back in 2008, maybe, but I was never told that I had a stroke. He said, no. He says, you've had two strokes within the last year. Something about the white spots on the brain. Um, so then then the, we were, I was trying to figure out, well, well, when could I have had another stroke? You know, he said, sometimes many strokes, you, you can have them and don't even know you have them. So, um I just couldn't think. I really couldn't think. And then I thought, well, you know, when when Mike died, I really had a hard time with that. I was really close to Mike. And then I identified his body, and that was really hard on me. And um, so I'm thinking, well, that 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 has to be when it happened. Because then I went and I got on medication that the I don't give a shit medication because that medication did made me not care about nothing. Um so the, I, I just assumed that's when I had my other stroke because he said it was within, I'm going to move this down some more. He said it was within the last, within the last year. So we were driving down the road and I scared the crap out of Haley because I said, Oh my God, I know when I probably had my second or my first stroke. And what, well, but I didn't, I was more excited and more like freaking out about it. And, um, remember when I had my eye blow out, when I hit the, hit, hit the doorknob and, and, and I had that eye blow out, I had a lot of issues after that, the dizziness and not knowing what I was doing. We, 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 I went to the hospital and they did all kinds of scans and stuff on me. I don't, they didn't, they didn't do an MRI, but they did all kinds of stuff on me. And, but we wasn't looking for any, we wasn't looking for a stroke or I don't know. I think I probably had it when I had my eye blow out and didn't know. Um, because if you guys remember, I had a lot of issues with that eye blow out from not being able to concentrate, not being able to see right, not being able to function right. I bet you that that is when I had the first stroke and I didn't even know it. He said, sometimes they get worse. 
after, like, like once you've had one, sometimes they get worse as you go. But hopefully I'll have no more. God, I hope I don't have no more. That was scary as hell. But anyways, so that was the doctor's visit. He's got, he, he's, I'm still on the aspirin. I'm on, um, yeah. hmm, another, I can't think of what it's called, something else. And then, um, of course, I take my allergy and I take my B12. Um, but he called me in something that's, that's like a blood flip, like a blood, I can't say it, shit, like a blood flinter. Mm. You guys know what I'm talking about. He called me in another one and um my insurance won't cover it. So they're trying to trying trying to get it approved. So I turned that on so I would look so I could look better, honey. I left that light on so I could look better. Thank you. Um so I don't know. I mean, it, that's when it could have happened. Yeah, I, I, I take aspirin every day. Um, in the hospital, they were giving me four a day. Um, but it, yes, it, yeah, and Lisa, you got it. You guys knew what I was trying to say. It would have came out if I had slowed down and just tried to just say it. It would have been okay. So anyways, um, that's what's going on with the doc, the, the, the doctor. And it was the, um, it was the neurologist that I went, went to now on, um, Valentine's day, I'm going to go to my PCP, my primary care, care doctor. And, um, I don't know if she's going to do more blood work because they did a whole ton of blood work in the hospital. So she'll probably, probably just go over the blood work and I don't know what, what all she's going to do. She's probably going to have to refer me out to somebody else. I'm going to ask her for the, um, for, for something for me, um, to, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm depressed, but I need something to help calm me down, which I think like, I'm on this one medicine and I can't think of the name of it, but I think it calmed me down a lot. Or I think maybe just the stroke calmed me down and the, the fact of, you know, I could have been dead calmed me down because I went out with the guys the other night and I felt fine. I mean, little things, yes, still scare me and stuff like that, but I never got the emotional. Everybody felt weird at that cemetery the other night. And that was a, Good, good cemetery. Um, but I didn't feel weird. I don't know. I, I mean, I certain things, you know, I, oh my God, what was that? Because I would hear all these, there was so many noises and there was so many voices. And, um, but everybody else felt, felt weird. Golly, I wanted to film all night. I was ready to film the hell of the night, but everybody else started feeling weird and sick. And so we, we left, but it was fun I, that I got to go out and the guys went out with us and um, they let me pick where I wanted to go. And that was a cemetery that I found during the day that I had been wanting to take them all to. I wanted to do a 30 minute challenge there, had all plans of doing a 30 minute challenge there. And um, I'm not going to do any for a while. I'm going to wait and see how, you know, make sure I'm okay. So I'm not really going to do any for a while. Um, Tell Bella thanks for the head bumps. Oh, yeah, I sent you them pictures, Katie. Earlier, I was watching Liz Katie Underwood's daughter was live making brownies or something. And I, I left it on the computer play, and then I had went outside for a minute and walked away for a minute. I come, well, Tyler hollers for me. He says, you better get Bella. She's up there at the computer. She was up there patting on the, on the screen at, at Lizzie. It was so cute. Um, big Tyler has downloaded something to his cell phone and he turns it on and it's birds and butterflies and noises and he lays it down and Bella just goes crazy on it. Um, she really goes crazy on it. So it was adorable. Um, I made a little video clip and sent it to Katie. 
Uh, what do you guys think of my wall? Let me move. I got I got some more pictures that I want to put here. Um, and then I got my map up there to put all you guys. Let me turn turn this up some. Um, I got the map up there to poke where everybody's from. So far, the only ones that I've put in there is Katie Underwood and I put Gary, Gary H. I can't pronounce pronounce his last name. But he's on there. And then I made this, like I just glued these things on. I did that last night. And then, um, oh, look, these are all falling off the wall. And I put a bunch of pictures up. And um, I don't know if you can see on this side over here. Haley wasn't using these boxes. I got boxes there and boxes up there. And um, so I put the boxes here on the wall. What do you guys think? Oh, you love it. Thank you, guys. It's like a little office. Office. I'm in the. I'm in what should be the dining room, and this thing is driving me crazy because I'm looking down at myself instead of looking up at that camera. They should put the camera on the bottom of the screen so that you're you're looking down here because I'm looking. I guess I'm looking at myself. I need to be looking at that little green dot up there. So um, let me read some comments. I don't know if they are easier to read on that black screen. As soon as I say I'm going to read some comments, they start going fast. I'm glad you guys like the wall. Thank you so much. If any of you guys are the ones I met at um, Gatorland and we took a picture together, if you print that picture and send it to me, I will put it on the wall if it's of me and you. And um, if you print two of them and send me one, I will autograph yours and send it back to you. So, you know, if I took, I know I took a lot of pictures. I think there was like over a hundred people that I took pictures with at Gatorland. So I'm not sure if you guys are in here, but print two of them, mail me one for the wall. and. Um, I'll autograph yours and mail it back to you. So that would be pretty cool. Okay, so Terry said that we hit a thousand subscribers in um, the fan fun page, and what was what was offered was a three card reading, um, and that. Um, I'm still w willing to do that. I'm not going to do it live. If Terry draws a winner, we will do a face chat with, I'll do a face chat with the person and I will give you the three card. So whenever Terry randomly draws the, the name, um, he will let me know and he can let you guys know the winner that we'll just do a face chat and I will read you the, the three cards. Um, what you got, baby? Oh, did you get it? Good. Um, so yeah, whenever he gets that. And then, um, I want to say a big shout out and a big thank you to, and I think she's here to Joanne. Are you here, Joanne? Not putting my feet up in the air, but I got my nails done. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne got my nails done and, um, got my toes done. I went out, um, I'm trying to think. Before I went to the doctor on Friday, I went and got my nails and my toes and um, I made an appointment for a massage. Yay. I'm excited for that. I'm really excited for that. Where is Joanne? I know, I know she was here. I'm not seeing her, but I know she was here. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit more so that I'm I still, for some reason, I'm looking at myself in the can in the on the on the screen instead of looking at, um, instead of looking at the camera up there. So tonight, I don't see Joanne. Tonight, I have my beautiful pendulum that Roger Summoner got me, and um, I couldn't find it for a while. So. I think I can stay still enough. I, I, right now I have it on the, um, I'm clear in the energy. I'm clearing the energy with my, um, is it my selenite? 
And I also have my dowsing rods here. And I've had this, my selenite laying over top of my dowsing rods and um, my pendulum. I, I think it's going to be easier for me to not read cards for a while because 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 when I start read, I don't I don't know I get self conscious it pisses me off I I, I will be saying something I'll be like oh my god stomach and you know because because it, it's sometimes it's just not coming out right so um where's Joanne let me get my mouse let's see I don't know where to put this mouse. Maybe I can do it on this one over here, but that that's probably not going to work. I think Joanne's in here. I hope she's in here. I got the pretty part, pretty parkily. I got the pretty parkily. I got, <laughs> oh my goodness. I got the pretty sparkly pink. And I know she was here earlier. Tammy A is, is the winner. Who's Tammy A? Is she in here? That would be really cool. Um, 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 Terry, write that down. I won't remember. Hi, Mr. Dave. How are you? Oh, Beth, I hope you feel better. It is easier to see them on the white screen. Maybe I can get Haley to change this screen to a white screen. It's This actually has white letters in a black screen. Tammy A is the winner. Awesome. Congratulations, Tammy. I don't know if you're here. I hope Joanne was here when I was talking about the nails and stuff. Hi, Heather Sheldon. Thank you for being here. I have Louie beside me. Louie, want to get in the camera? Stay. Can you guys see him? He's got to be right. He's got to be up my butt. He follows me everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, well, I don't know. Joanne was here earlier. How many do I got? Oh, my God. I got 184 people. Yay. 142 likes. Smash it, guys. Hit that like button. Definitely. Hi, Jenny's Journey. Did I, I might have already said, yeah, I know it. And she, she's over there. She's, I cleaned her face up. She, she doesn't look that creepy anymore. I don't know. Maybe she's the whole source of all, all my problems. I don't know. I haven't really messed with her at all. So let's see. Louie knows you. Yeah, Louis, he's always up my butt. You want to say hi, babe? On the new the new um, video, the new computer? He won't come. But him and I went out and made a, just a little teeny video clip. So that'll come out eventually. I still have, I think, seven or eight videos from before the stroke. And then I have, I already posted the video with the guys the other night. That was after. And then I made a vegetable pizza and made a little video. And that was after. So I have a bunch of videos to work on still. Hi, Jamie. Angie, Angie the Green Eyed Angel, my daughter, is going live when I'm done. So if you're not subscribed to her, jump over there and subscribe to her. Um, because you might, she's going to do card reading. She actually has my cards. I let her use them because I knew I wasn't going to read them. But I did, um, I did take pictures of every single card, like for my Patreons. But I had to figure out, well, wait a minute. Now, how am I going to shuffle and pick them a card? Angie said that maybe number them and just pull a number for them. But I don't know. I, I like to shuffle because then I, I, I don't know. I get this sensation. It's like I'm shuffling and it's like, oh, a tingle. This must be their card. So I kind of like to do it with the cards. Um, I added some more tiers to my Patreon. And they're higher tiers. And, you you know, you don't have to check it out if you don't want to. You can check it out if you want to. I was told by, well, I was talking to um, somebody that I've never made a video with. He's a, he's a, he's a big YouTuber, and it's not Omar. Um, it was somebody else. And he said, like, he was, I was getting some advice. 
and he said that um, to make the tears and make make them go higher, you know, you might not get anybody, but you might get that one all in lifetime person that wants to help. So that's what I did. I went in and, and made them. And like I said, there's no obligation. Um, even when I do card reading re readings or anything, there's no obligation. I don't, I don't say, Hey, you got to pay me this or I'm not doing it. I just pick and go. And, but like I said before, anybody that donates will definitely get a reading. Um, so, but, the, but you're not obligated. You don't have to, I, but I pick and choose, you know, and I don't, I don't, I just pick random names. So, and I don't, I try not to pick the same people. Thank you for the prayers, Francis. Yeah, it's way easier to see this screen. Let me see if I can move this around here. But then I'm looking away. But I'll probably be, bleh, stop it. I'll probably be able to get Haley to change that color. Hey, Sue Who. Thank you. I just want to jump right back in and do the stuff at my house. I tried to build this desk that I'm sitting at. I was getting so aggravated that the, the screw gun wouldn't, my hands wouldn't work right. Um, I was really getting aggravated. And thank God for Tyler because he just finished it up for me. It's really pretty. I'm really happy with it. So I got like a whole new setup. It's not, it was, it's just made from stuff we had, but it's, um, it's really cool. It's the L it's five foot this way. And then it's five foot that way. So it's pretty big, but I'm in, the, I'm, I'm in a corner, um, of my, like my, like my dining room. Um, I have been taking it kind of easy. I went out and swing in the swing out back the other day, but of course I was checking comments on my videos and, um, Tyler and I went and, um, um, we went to eat. We've been trying to be careful, but I wanted some food. I wanted some real food. So we went and got some real food. We had Sunny's barbecue. Yummy. It was delicious. Um, but I have, I've slowed down a lot. You need a she shed. Yeah, I know. I need to just throw stuff away. Um, I've got, well, I had two people last week that told me they were going to come help me. I was going to pay them to come help me. I had somebody on Wednesday. They never showed up. Then on Thursday, they never showed up. So it's like, shit. Um, I really need help with the things that I'm not able to do. But I don't know. Slowly, I'm getting stuff done. Like, I love this corner. I sit in this corner all the time now. I love it a lot. So, um, trying to see. Okay. So first thing, oh, I wanted to talk to you guys. I was very excited. Um, Julie, the crystal lady, she sent me a text message and they got such a great, they used to be at the flea market. Okay. So they moved and got their own, their own little shop. And, um, it was a nice little shop, but it wasn't in a great location for a lot of traffic. So they, the flea market must've liked them so much that they got, I think they got one of the closed in buildings at a really great rate, way cheaper than the rent at that little place that they had. And so they moved back to the flea market, which so they're only open on Saturdays and Sundays, but if like when fans come to town, like to come hang out, I can contact her and I'm, I think it was, it might've been Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday or Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We can, she go there and she can meet us there and we can just go shopping. Um, so big shout out to Julie because she she said told me all that and then she says and you sold a lot of stuff she says and um 
you got a $250 credit. I was like, yay. So I got 250 bucks, not cash, but I can go there and buy all the crystals I want. So I'm ex so excited. She said that my, my code Marie 20 will continue and it will go from month to month. So it'll go like the first of the month to the last day of the month. Then it closes out, but it starts right over the first of the next month to the, to the, to the end of the, you know what I mean? So, um, say my name, say my name, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Oh, I had to sing that song when I seen that. I think that maybe that's not even how the song goes. Um, yes, I love Sonny's too, Misty. So anyways, you guys can continue to buy your crystals. Use the code Marie20. And it um, it doesn't matter when you buy. She was just trying to explain to me that, that like the percentage or the credit that I get. I'm not doing the cash. You can do a percentage cash. I don't want to do that. I just get the free, the free stones and stuff like that. So she was just trying to explain to me that it goes from the first of the month to the last day of the month. And then they cal the machine, I guess their system calculates it up that way. So I was very excited. I get to go and get some cool stuff. So I'll probably go. Jesse's Histories and Mysteries is coming down. And I think it's soon. I think she's coming in seven days um, and she's going to um, come down and we're going to make some videos. So maybe we'll go to, um, we'll go and during the week, we'll call Julie and we'll get an appointment and we'll just go out there. So bring some money, Jesse. You can buy some crystals and I can go spend my free money. The 16th. Okay. I thought it was the 17th, but that's fine. I don't, that's fine. Awesome. So her and I, shout out Wendy, her and I are going to, and probably Angie too, when Angie's not working, are going to go out and make some videos together. Can't wait. It's going to be fun. It's nice to make videos with different people, you know, and not a good, and not too many people. When you got four or five people filming, you're getting the exact same video. That's why when, when we went out with the guys the other night, we we all separated. But it was funny because like Joe went this way and um, Todd went this way. And then there was only four ways to go. But Joe went that way. Todd went that way. Angie was going this way. I kind of went this way up the middle. And then Rob went this way. So Angie and Rob was there in case I needed, you know. Case I needed them, which which is awesome. The guys are really great. They are so great to film with. I just love them, guys. Um, but they're really great to film with. And um, I wanted to show you guys this this little kit right here is called a protection kit. I think it's like sixteen, seventeen dollars, but with the discount, it's cheaper. And it's a called a pr pr protection kit. It comes with a quartz, a labradorite. I'm not saying these right. Fluorite. I'm going to show you. This is what it comes with. And then she use, usually throws in a free stone. So, and it's not very much at all. And with the discount, you get it cheaper. So you might have had to pause that. But it's got so much stuff in here. I mean, and it, like, the black obsidian. She's got two of them in there. And then she's got two of these. So there's four. And um, look at this selenite stick. There's five. And here she's got one, two, three. So there's five, six, seven. There's eight and eight, eight so far. And then she's got two of them in here. That's 10. And um, a quartz is 11. And then she's got this is 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 the blue kyanite. That's twelve. So there's twelve of them, and it's one, two, three, four. It's supposed to have seven stones, and you know she always throws a couple of stuff. Maybe you might not get twelve, 
but she always, this, you're supposed to get seven. She always throws a few extras in. And um, this pack was already made up when I bought it. So she didn't especially make it for me. It was already made when I bought it. So, and I, I, I honestly believe it's like, it's probably like $17 and it, you get a discount, but you can look it up on her website. Um, anything you guys buy, be sure to use the code Marie 20. I do plan on going out and seeing her as, you know, as soon as I can probably make another video, but, um, she has all the same stuff that's in my video. She's actually, I think she may have gotten something that she just recently got. Um, um, I can't remember. I wanted to say she got pendulums, but I don't know. I, I don't, don't, don't mark my words on that. Cause I, I'm, I could be wrong. Okay. So, um, oh, I do have a couple of things here. I don't even know how long I've been live. This is from Roger Levet, Leves, Levester. I, I probably said that wrong. I probably killed that. Um, I got it in the post office the other day. I got there too late, so I didn't get to get There was a package. I don't know who it was for, if it was for me or Angie. It says, um, see, Jesse, I wasn't confused. Um, it says they are checking out. It says they are checking out my butt. Totally keep working it. And it's these little guys here. And then when you open it. I love it. It's so cute. So I love this card. I, I opened it at the post office in the car. I'm like, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Roger. I do appreciate that. I love it. And then I have one from Carol Forbes. And it is, is um, a, it's probably a get well card. Look at the lighthouse. I, I was just at the lighthouse and did them 219 steps. And then what, two days later, I have a stroke. That's awful. It says, I said a prayer for you today. And um, there's a letter in here. I'm going to read the letter off of um, camera. This is a book. Oh, this is a little bookmarker. You can fold it and take it off. That's really cool. Um, it says I'm in her prayers, Carol Forks. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, if I try to read it, I get frustrated when I start stuttering. So, and then I just tell myself off. Stop it. Damn it. Stop it. So I'm going to read that letter. Um, to myself and then I think um, there was something right here and I believe let's see it, Heather Sheldon right I believe Heather Sheldon sent me this and I know I don't think I ever opened it on camera it's rose I think it's the rose quartz or the rose it's earrings can you guys see them they're so pretty and then there's a rose I can take it out then there's a rose necklace. It's, it was laying on kitchen table. I don't think I ever, ever opened it on camera. Did I open it on camera, Heather? Because I don't think I did. And then she got Tyler a wallet. And um, I told him I never opened it on camera. He says, I don't care. He says, I'm taking it. I'm putting all my stuff in it right now. So he took it and put all of his stuff in it. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. It's beautiful, and it's got the earrings to match. So thank you so much, Heather Sheldon. I love it. I will definitely be wearing that. Okay, so I think that is all that I had that um, I needed to show you guys. Terry got me this one, and I thought it looks good. You like my new shirt? It's just like you put it over top of a, you know, an undershirt. I got it for three bucks at Walmart. I was excited. Excited. Three dollar. Okay. So. Beautiful. I want one too. Um, it came from Amazon, guys. I think it came from Amazon.
I don't know where it came from. I think it's Amazon. The shirt looks good on you. Thank you so much. Okay, so what time is it? Um, I've got time. Okay, so I'm going to do some pendulum readings. And um, let's see if we're going to be able to hold this and see where I'm going to have to put the computer. Cut my head off. That's okay. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be for Paul the fam. He donated early in the video. Paul, do you have a, a yes or no question? Hundred and eighty nine watching, a hundred and ninety four likes. Whoop whoop. Yay. Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. Thank you for putting out with my stuttering. <laughs> if I just say a couple words at a time and I slow, I'm okay. Okay, so Paul the fam, is he still here? I know it's a different, I think he's in Australia. It's, I think he's in Australia. It might be wrong. But I wanted to read him. Um, I wanted to read him first because he, um, you know, donated to me in the very beginning of my video. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. I notice it and it pisses me off. It's like, stop it. Damn it. Stop it. Stop it. Always like saying that to myself. Okay, I don't see Paul. I definitely want to read Paul. Okay, I can write down some names and I can come back to Paul. Okay, so... Um, did, I'm trying to think if I owed anybody a reading. Uh, Terry, is that person that won in here? Yeah, cut that part out. It's right. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hi, M. Okay, so Paula Fam is not here right now. I'm going to read Tiffany then. Tiffany, do you have a yes or no question? Oh, I'm going to start writing down a bunch of names. Thank you for the donation, Karina. All right, Paul the Fam's here. Okay, so so far I have Paul the Fam, I have Tiffany, and I have Karina. I need um, Paul the Fam a yes or no question. Yes or no. Thank you so much, Amy. I do appreciate that so much. Okay, so I'm going to get prepared here. Can you guys see the pendulum good enough? Is my name? Okay, okay. Paul the fam. Center, please. Center. Paul the fam wants to know if his Nana is okay. It's a definite yes, Paul. She's okay. Center, please. Tiffany, what's your question? Oh, she passed five years ago. I'm so sorry, Paul. But she's okay, and I'm sure she's watching over you. Look for the signs. You will see signs. And you probably just write them off as, ah, uh, 
but it's probably her. Okay, center, please. All right, if you posted your question, Tiffany, I missed it. I love this pendulum. Roger Sumner sent it, sent it to me. He, um, he sent me two of them. The first one, the thing was so little on the end, I didn't, I couldn't hold it right. He sent me another one. Tiffany, will my dad's test go well on Tuesday? Center, please. Center. Tiffany wants to know if her dad's test will go well on Tuesday. Hmm. It's an I don't know, Tiff. I'm sorry. It's unsure. A circle on this one means it's unsure. Um. Well, it went into the yes now. So I hopefully, but at first when we asked the question, it was unsure. And maybe when I said it was unsure, it went into the yes saying, yes, it was unsure. Um, I just seen another donation. I'm trying to think of who it was. Was it like a CC? I can't, I can't remember. I mean, I didn't get to write it down. CC's world. Thank you so much for the donation. Oh, you gave me a shout out in your latest video. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next one is Karina. Karina, do you have a yes or no question? Center, please. Trying to watch for her question. All right, what's your question, Karina? Katie, what is it? I miss I miss something, Katie. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hmm. I'm looking for um, Karina's yes or no question. After Karina is Amy. I think Amy S. Think of your yes and no question, and then CC. Think of your yes or no question. Okay, center, please. Karina wants to know, am I going to get to keep my grandson? Okay, center, please. Is Karina going to get to keep her grandson? Boy, that went right into yes, Karina. I hope so. It's not a big swing, but it went straight into yes. Center, please. Amy, what was your question? It's Amy S. Katie, Andy donated earlier. Oh, I didn't even see that, Katie. Um, keep that in your mind for a minute so that I don't forget. I'll write it down in a second. I have Amy. Center, please. And if I missed your question, Amy, okay. Is my grandmother with me at my house? All right, so Amy wants to know, center, center, stop. Amy wants to know, is her grandmother with her at her house? Yep, she sure is, Amy. Talk to her like she was standing beside you. I'm sure she would really, really like that. And um, you may even hear whispers. Maybe she'll be able to talk to her. Tell her to um, tell her to come to you in your dreams. Tell her to to um, um, 
you know, try your hardest, grandma, try your hardest to say something. Or if you're sitting there thinking about her and wanting to talk to her, say, try your hardest, grandma, knock something over or anything. Talk to her because I, I guarantee she will like that and, and you will like it too. Okay, so let me write Andy's name down because I totally missed it. I am so sorry, Andy. If I miss any more, Katie, can you catch them for me? The next one I have is Cece. Center, please. Is my mama, Donna Mae, watching over me? Cece wants to know if her mama, Donna Mae, is watching over her. Can you guys see that? All right, it definitely went into a yes. But can you see it? It's not doing it now. But before it went into the yes, it was like, and I don't know what it means. Maybe M, M's on here. Maybe she knows what it means. It was like really, really sh like a like its own little shake there. It's it wasn't moving like with the stem, but down here it was just doing its own little shake. It was crazy. It was it was something different. I never seen that before. Okay, so um, Andy, what is your yes or no question? Center, please. You're welcome, Cece. You're so welcome. I wouldn't use the pendulum for anything bad. I, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. Because you know what? When you do bad, bad's going to come back to get you. And it might come back to, it might not come back to get you. It might come back and get the ones you love. So um, some people need to be careful of things they do and the way they treat people because Karma comes back and sometimes karma don't come back and, and hurt you. Karma comes back and hurts the people around you that you love. So, um, see, look, the pendulum's even agreeing with me. It's saying yes. That's right. Center, please. Stop. Did I ask Andy's question? Somebody help me. I don't, and where was Andy's question? Somebody repost it. Oh, he didn't post it yet. I was on Andy, right? I already read CC, right? All right. Somebody keeps sending me all kinds of messages. Um, thank you, Joanne. Was you here, Joanne, when I when I showed you my nails and told you that I got my nails done and my toes done? With the money that you sent me, I appreciate that. And I got an appointment on the 20, 26 to get a massage. I'm excited. Yay. Okay, so Andy. I'm looking for Andy's question. I hope Andy didn't get upset and leave. Katie, do you think he got upset and left thinking I, I didn't see him? I didn't see him. I honestly didn't. I'm so sorry. And usually it pops up at the top, but it didn't pop up at the top. Dang it. I don't know why it did that. Usually it pops up at the top. I don't see it on this computer either. I hope that he didn't get upset and think that I just ignored him. Because I wouldn't do that. All right. So everybody's sending me messages. It, it's going to keep coming up on my computer. Please stop sending them to me. Okay. Now I just, I don't know what I did. 
Okay, so I'm not seeing Andy's question. Don't think he's here. Uh, well, that's not good. Okay, well, I will try to get back to Andy. I got these. Um, so the best way for me to do this is um, just post your yes or no questions, and I will grab someone out of the comments. Um, it's time consuming when you wait. So just post your questions and I will start picking people. I will start picking, pick, picking people's questions. Center, please. Brandy wants to know, will I be successful in my job? Will Brandy be successful in her job? It says yes, Brandy. I thought it was going to go into an I don't know, but it, it, it went to the yes. Center, please. Okay, so center. Angela Carroll wants to know, will I get through school on time? Will Angela get through school on time? It's an I don't know, um, Angela. Um, maybe you have to work harder. I don't know your situation, but it did go into the I don't know. When I said maybe you have to work harder, it says no. So maybe you don't have to work harder, I do it, but it doesn't know. Center, please. Stop. Kathy wants to know if she will get accepted at classes at UCF. She's super nervous. Will Kathy get accepted? Oh, Kathy, it went right to yes. I hope so. Let me know. That would be neat to know. Definitely let me know because it went right into yes. All right, center, please. I got to try to, I should have got something to put under my arm. Center. Oh, Kimmy Boo wants to know, is her health problems going to be okay? Is Kimmy's health problems going to be okay? It says yes, and I hate asking questions about that because if it went into no, I would feel awful. Um, but I do understand you want to, want to know. Center, please. Will Jonathan find a girlfriend? Jonathan, it says you're going to find a girlfriend. I would just wait because, like, I wouldn't go out searching. The right girl will come along in your life, and, and you'll know at that moment, oh, my God, this is the girl for me, and she'll know the same thing about you. Center, please. Darlene, oh, I missed it, Darlene. Darlene wants to know if her grandpa, Bucky Harris, is with her. Yep, he sure is, Darlene. Center, please. Center, stop. Claire, Claire wants to know if her husband will get his disability. Center, please. It doesn't want to stop. There we go. Is Claire's husband going to get his disability?
It went right into I don't know. Disability is a hard thing to get. It really is. Um, and sometimes it takes years. All right, where the heck's my mouse at? There it is. That was Holly. Okay, so Holly. Is my late husband who is walking around, is my late husband the probably the one that's walking around my bedroom at night? Okay. Is Holly's late husband the one that's walking around her bedroom at night? Yep, he sure is. Thank you so much for the donation, Holly. I appreciate that. Center. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Do you have a question for the pendulum? Oh, I gotta write these down. I'm getting them popping in there. Oh, I done missed it. I done missed it, guys. Katie, I'm getting getting behind here. My secretary. It was Teresa and, and Stacy. The only one I missed, I got Holly, right? I read Holly. I missed Andy. Okay. Okay, so Teresa, what is your yes or no question? Center, please. All right, thank you, Katie. Oh, that was Teresa. All right, Teresa wants to know if her daughter is doing okay. Center, please. Center, stop. Is Teresa's daughter doing okay? It says yes, Teresa. Your daughter's doing okay. Center, please. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, I missed it. I think it was Brandy. Was it Brandy? Brandy, did I do you a card, Brandy? Or did I, not a card, did I do you a reading? It says, thank you for answering my question. Maybe I did her a reading. Oh, wrong, wrong mouse. Okay, so the next one is um, Stacy. Stacy, can you post your... <sighs> Kathy. Kathy Blackburn. Kathy, I, my, um, my mother-in-law was a Blackburn from Maryland. Um, that was her maiden name. Um, hold your question a second. I, um, I had, I got Stacy next. Did something follow me home the other night from the cemetery? Ooh. All right. Center, please. Thank you so much for the donation, Fairy Hiller Bear. Okay, so Stacy wants to know if something followed her home from the or not the hospital. Oh my lord! Did something follow her home from the cemetery? I think it was a no. But you never know when we put when we put our put, put, when we put ourselves out there, stuff like that definitely happens. Um, we put ourselves out there, and um, 
you know, we take chances. So like if you can get sage um, or, and I can't think of what it's called as page in here. This wood is, is Palo Santo wood, I think. This is supposed to be better than sage. I want to get somebody to shave some of it off for me so that I can, like, it'll burn easier. It's supposed to be better than sage. I have a few things that are supposed to be better than sage. Um, but if you can get that, you know, sage yourself before you, like, even before you get back in your car. Um, I know I say this and sometimes we do it and sometimes we don't. We're in the car driving down the road. And I'm like, oh my God, pull out the sage. And, you know, it could already be in the car with us. So, um, yeah, you just, you just never know. Oh, I forgot to write that name down. Okay, so I'm on Brandy. Brandy, did you have um, a yes or no question? Or did I already answer you one? Maybe I just picked you. But if you have a question, um, I will be happy to ask the pendulum. Center, please. Center. What do you mean, wrong Teresa? I read Teresa. I read Teresa already. And it was Brandy. Did Brandy have a question? The other is Teresa, not Teresa. I read, um, oh, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I read the wrong one. Maybe I read the wrong person's question. So the Teresa that donated is the one that I wanted to read. And it was, let me see if I can go back that far. Teresa, D-E-S-O-U-S-A. That's the Teresa that I wanted to read. You read me. Oh, okay. So um, I can read the right Teresa. Just post your questions, Teresa. I got Teresa and Brandy. I think I might have just read Brandy picked her out of the group and then she just decided to throw a donation in there. Okay. So she said, yes, pick yourself a question because I missed your question. Is my, it was my sister. Huh? What's your question? Center please. And then I have Kathy, Kathy that donated. Okay, is my sister okay? Four months today since she passed. Okay, so I read the wrong Teresa. Center, please. Is Teresa's sister okay? She passed away four months ago. It went straight into yes, Teresa. She's okay. Talk to her. She's probably watching out for you. Kathy Blackburn, yes. What is your question, Kathy? And I miss Brandy. I don't know if, if she had a question or not. Hi, Shirley. My sister's here. 
I'm okay. I'm I'm slowly okay. Um, you might have to go back and, and watch the beginning of the video because I talked about what happened at the doctor's office. Okay, so I'm confused. Did I read I read the Kathy, right? I read Kathy. After Kathy, I was going to read Fairy Healing Bear. So think of your question and thank you for the donation. Oh, Kathy was the one that was. Oh, okay. Kathy wants to know will she actually graduate from UCF? Center, please. Center. Will Kathy graduate from UCF? Will Kathy graduate from UCF? Well, Kathy, it, um, well, it looked like it was going into an I don't know. It still kind of looks like it's going into an I don't know. Um, I thought maybe it was going to go into a yes. It went into an I don't know twice. Um, so I, you know, I don't know. I'm not positive. I'm sorry. Center, please. All right. So Fury Healing Bear, are you still here? And do you have a question? What noise? I didn't hear a noise, Katie. What did it sound like? Really? I didn't hear nothing. I don't know. I didn't hear nothing. Close to the mic? The mic's right in front of me. Let me see if Lou let me see where Louie is. Lou. Louie must have went to bed with it with daddy. I don't know. There ain't nothing nobody out here with me. He was laying beside me on the um on the chair, but he's gone. He must have went with daddy. Okay, so if um that was weird and loud, really? Wow, I don't even think I heard it. Mark this number so I so I know where to go back. Katie, mark this number. Oh, it's one hour 18. Just say an hour 18 or hour 17, something like that. But still write it down and remind me because I'll forget. I know, Carol, the medication does have me not worried. It's like, oh, well, whatever. I want to go film. I want to go walk through a dark cemetery by myself. But I, I won't, won't go do it by myself right now because anything could happen. Okay, so the Fury Healing Bear. Are you still here? Did anybody see the question from the Healing Bear? Fury Healing I can't say it. Healing, the Healing Bear. Aw, Angela. Okay, while we're waiting on that, Angela wants to know if her miscarriage baby and grandma are with her. Center, please.
Is her miscarriage baby and grandma with her? Yes, they are. They are definitely with you. Center, please. Listen back at 204. 204, mine says an hour, 20 minutes. Um, okay, so I did see the healing bear or the, yeah, I use my pendulum too. It is rainbow fluorinite and I, and let's see, the only one I can connect to, but I get another person's perspective, have been sick with a viral bronchitis infection. Will I get better this week? Will I get better this week? Okay, so maybe your energy is not is not being you're sick. Your energy is not is not good right now. If you have selenite, it doesn't have to be this big, but you can cleanse your pendulum. Also, you can buy it in like like this size right here, like a little heart, or you can you can buy it. Um, I think that's quartz. Um, you can buy it in this size right here, but this is not, this is, I think this is quartz. Um, there's different sizes. I think I put mine, my other one in and I'm mailing it to someone and I put it in, um, in something. So, um, now back up to the, back up to the question. That's awful. I start talking about something. Oh, about will you get better this week? Is it bronchitis? Okay. A bronchial infection. Okay, so Fairy Healing Bear wants to know. Center, please. Wants to know, will they, I don't know if it's a he or she. So will they get better this week? Will they start getting better this week? Oh, my goodness. It said no. I'm so sorry. Hopefully it's wrong. But it said no. It totally said no. I'm so sorry. I do hope you get better. I will I will put you in my prayers and hope that you do get better. Let's see. Let's see what I missed here. Okay, so I think I have everybody on my list except for Brandy. And I believe I might have picked Brandy out of the crowd and then Brandy threw a donation because I think I might have already read Brandy. So post your questions and I will pick somebody. Center, please. Rachel Garcia wants to know, does my daughter really hate me? Does Rachel's daughter really hate her? It says no. She doesn't really hate you. Um, you know, sometimes mothers and daughters butt heads and you can't get along. Um, hopefully, you know, things get better. Center, please. Trying to see. Mammotha wants to know, can she see spirits? Can Mammotha see spirits? Mammotha, it says no. So I don't know if you can or you can't, but it says no. Center, please. Center. Joanne wants to know, will her son be okay?
Yes, he will be okay, Joanne. I don't know the situation, but I just got chills all up my arm. Oh, my God. So I'll pray for your son not even knowing what's going on. Um, and you, you don't have to tell me. I'll just pray for him because God knows what's, what's going on, you know. Center, please. Center, stop. Oh, I've seen one that I would like to read. They go by so fast when you're trying to. Sabrina wants to know. I want to know if my parents that passed away are around me and my, me and grandbaby. Is Sabrina's parents around her and the baby? Hmm. It's unsure when it does the circle. Oh, you guys can't even see it now. How come? Did I move the screen? I didn't think I moved the screen. Now I'm going to be cut off. Um, I'm going to try to get something better to put the screen up on so that it's up higher. Center, center, please. Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome, Joanne. You're totally welcome. Okay, so let's see. Is Angie still in here? I know she's going live and I don't I probably like went way over. Um Angie, are you in here and about ready to go live? I was gonna do the dowsing rods, but I can do the dowsing rods next week. I want I I mm, stop it. I want to go live during the week and do different things during the day. So, um, and that's a plan because I'm not going to be getting out as, as, as much. So, um, I want to plan on just going live a couple times a week. Okay. Are you ready to go live, Angie? You got your stuff all set up? Okay, so center, please. Fran wants to know, is her son trying to contact her? Yes, Fran, he is. Center, please. Aw, Kelsey wants to know. Center, please. Kelsey wants to know if she will ever become a mother. Oh, my God. I got chills down my whole left side. Will Chelsea ever become a mother? Yes, Chelsea, you will become a mother. Oh, oh, I just got chills everywhere. I don't know your situation. Maybe you're, maybe you're barren and you can't have children. Um, that doesn't mean you can't be a mother. You can adopt, you can foster, um, you know, a mother's not always the one that has the child. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy because there's mothers out there that have six and seven babies. They don't care about them. They, they care about their next high. Um, there's so many little children out there that need to be adopted, that need to have good, good, uh, safe homes. So I don't know what your situation is, but I got chills. It went all down my left side and then I, it came right up this side. So I don't know the whole situation, but, um, you know, it's not impossible to be a mother. Even if you don't give birth, you can be a mother, you can adopt, um, you can find somebody like this, this people, people know people that, having a baby and she don't want it. She's going to put up for adoption. Private adoptions are easier and faster than an adoption to somebody that you have no clue about. But make sure if you do adopt that, um, you know, read all the fine paperwork because sometimes the mother can come back in the life when the child's 18. If you don't want that, if you want this child to think that you're its mother from birth and never tell them, 
you know, just read all the paperwork. Oh, heck, that one got me. That one got me. Okay, so did Angie say she was ready? Okay, center, please. Yes, everyone pray for Kelsey. Whatever the situation is, God knows what the situation is. And um, it, you know, it might not happen tomorrow. Um, I've been ready, goofball. Oh, pooey, Angie. I'm gonna stay live for another hour then. Okay, no, I'm just joking. Angie's ready. So one more, one more message. One more. Let's see who it's going to be for. Oh, I just seen one. I already seen it. Let's see. Carol. Okay, center, please. Carol wants to know, is her son on hard drugs and does he hate her? Is Carol's son on hard drugs? And that's a yes. Center, please. Center. Stop. Does Carol's son hate her? And that's an I don't know. And I'll tell you a little bit here. If your son is on drugs... And he's being a, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it bluntly. If your son's on drugs and he's being a butthead towards you, it comes with the drugs. I don't believe that he hates you. I believe that it's the drugs talking and, and, you know, he needs help. But honestly, I don't think that he hates you. I think the drugs are making him be mean or hateful or whatever's going on in your life. I've seen this go through so many families and so many people that I know. So um, up north, you know, where I lived up north, there was no jobs. Everybody was drug heads up there. I, I couldn't wait to leave. But I've seen it happen to so many people um, get treated like crap because somebody's on drugs. It's because either they're totally screwed up and they're treating you like crap or they're coming off their screw up, you know, the drugs are coming off the, the, off their high and they need more. So they're not so mean or whatever. Um, it does happen. So honestly, he probably doesn't hate you. Um, and it's so crazy because I don't even know what half of these, these, these situations tonight. And boy, some of them are really getting to me. Um, so this will be, the year. Ah, oh, yay, Katie. In person, Katie's coming to see me. I hope so, Katie. That would be awesome. Oh, my son is only 22, drug addiction. Oh, I'm so sorry, Joanne. Um, and so, you know, Joanne probably knows. I mean, if, if, if he's coming off this high and he needs more, to feel right in his brain, they do treat you like crap. They really treat you like crap. Um, so just uh, the best thing you can do is pray for them. Try to get them to get help. Um, don't hand them money. Don't hand if they want something, buy it. Don't hand them money because that money is not going to go on what they say they're they're um, you know you know they're going to get. It's a lie. You know, they might say, oh, well, I'm hungry and I want to go to Burger King. Take them to Burger King because when you give them that Burger King money, that's going to drugs. So you're supporting it. And um, you don't want to do that. So never give a drug head money. Always just, you know, might be a pain in the butt. Go out of your way. Take them to get the food. Go pick up the food. J j drop it off to them. Um, I heard a little puppy walk in. I don't think so. David and Lizzie say good night. Good night, David and Lizzie. I love you to both of you. I love you. I love you a lot. Okay, so Angie the Green Eyed Angel is going live. 
If you're not subscribed to her, go subscribe to her right now. Tell her mama sent you and ask for a card reading. She will be, she has my, my spirit message cards. I don't know what, what else she's going to be reading tonight, but, um, yes, definitely go over there. Tell her I sent you and, um, you guys have a great night. Thank you all for being here. I had a really, really big crowd. I had over 200 at one time, at one point tonight. And I just, I, I'm great, grateful. Thank you guys so much. I love you and look forward this week, this week sometime. And then Jesse's going to be here Sunday. And then over the weekend, I think Haley's the boy that Haley likes that we went and seen his mama's bringing him down for to spend Valentine's Day weekend with Haley. Well, not spend it with her, but you know, they're going to go do some stuff. So it's still coming down. So we got a busy weekend. And then right after they leave, well, they're not staying here, but right after they leave, then Jesse's coming down. So um, shout out to each and every one of you guys. Angie, go ahead and go live. They'll come right on over. Um. Ruby, she's she's doing okay, and she's fixing to go live, Ruby. So if you're not subscribed to Angie the Green-Eyed Angel, go over there and subscribe now. Somebody post her link. She's fixing to go 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 live and do uh, card readings for fans. So go on over there, and um, the card readings are free. But if somebody donates, of course, her and I feel the same way. If somebody donates money, we have to read them a card. It's only right. So we, we pick and choose. It doesn't cost nothing for a reading, but if somebody donates, we're going to put that person in there for the reading also. So, um, go to bed, Marie. Yeah, I, I won't go to bed. I've been going to bed at five o'clock in the morning. Isn't that awful? It's awful. I just can't. It's like, I'm scared to go to sleep. I'm scared. I'm not going to wake up. So I wait till I'm so tired that I have to go to sleep. Plus, I have videos to work on. So, okay. So I love you guys. And big shout out to all of you, all, all of you guys. And I will talk to you soon. I can't wait to watch this back and see how good the quality is with this computer. Love you too, Leanne. Love you guys all. Thank you to all, all the moderators. Um, James Sharp, Katie. Heather Sheldon, um, let's see, Stephanie, Terry and Al, trying to see who I was here. Katie, I got Katie. Let me see here. I just seen something I wanted to do. Let's see. Okay, I did that. Okay. So shout out to all of you. Um, Every one of you guys, shout out to the to the to the moderators. Good night to each and every one of you. And I'm used to pushing a button, so it's gonna take me a minute to figure out how to go on live because I don't know how to do it. I tried to do Google Hangouts today and it wouldn't work. Oh, I see it. It's easy on this one. End stream. Okay. Good night, guys. I love you. Bye. Oh, wrong mouse. <laughs>